guys, so it's your girl Sarah Lace. Um, today we are going to talk about what is in my stripper bag. I have been getting this question by quite a few people. Um, you know, even in public when I just go out like this or with full glam makeup, walking around with sweats in a gym bag, you know, people kind of tend to get confused as to where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I'm just like, yo, guys, I'm a stripper. I do that, and that shit's fun. It, it, it's a lot of hard work, let me tell you that, but it is really, really fun. Um, besides that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so this right here is my stripper bag. And so the logo over here says Fan Centro, um, because I do also have a premium Snapchat. Um, if you guys want more information on that, I can go ahead and put the link down below in the description box, as well as if you guys want me to make a video about what is premium Snapchats and how to do that, I can go ahead and uh, do that for you. Just write that down in the comments if you want to see that. So, anyways, let's get started, okay? Um, first and foremost, my stripper shoes. Yes, they are 8 inches tall. No, they're not hard to walk on, but when you first start, if you don't know how to walk in any shoes, yes, these will be very difficult. So, if you're barely starting out, I do recommend start out with the 6 or the 7 inch. Um, I do tell people stay away from the 5 inch, so go ahead and go with 6 and just build your way up because honestly they have up to 10 inch shoes and I am not even close to that, <laughs> you know. But anyways, um, next thing is baby wipes, you know, gotta keep everything clean, you know, if I have extra deodorant stains or whatever or... You know, I go to the bathroom and need to clean up. These are always these are always good to have. <clears throat> these are makeup remover wipes. Uh, you can see them. These are proactive. Uh, I have been working out a lot lately. Honestly, I feel like it is because I travel and I'm. I you know I do tend to sleep in my makeup after wearing it for 12 hours straight. So that doesn't help, but, you know, those are there. So I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. And anyways, um, some tampons. You know, probably you should have some of these. Whether you're on your period or not, it's always good just to have these, just in case. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to explain why. And... My doll. This I normally keep inside this bag, but uh, someone was cramping, so I did lend them some. And it's always good to have. Uh, next is I do have hair ties in here. Um, I did used to have a whole Ziploc bag of hair ties, hair pins. And I also had the elastic hair ties, those little ones, um, as well as a wide tooth comb and then a smaller comb. Um, just because I get lazy and when I have my hair straight, it doesn't tend to stay straight, you know. So I just go ahead and turn into this on rainy days like today. Um, dry hands. This is my extra one and I have another one in my money bag. But this is pretty much, it is liquid chalk, okay? So it helps me grip the pole and not fall on my ass while I'm dancing. That's for sure. Um, next thing I got, this is an entire bag of thongs and garters. Let me show you a couple. So this... is a thong that I love to wear. Uh, one of my friends actually bought it for me on my birthday. Uh, you know, because we always need a few of those. Um, oh, 
like this one. This one's technically booty shorts. Um, even though it still looks like a thong, these are considered booty shorts. And oh my god, these are so fucking comfortable. Let me tell you, when I am lazy and don't want like a lot of thongs up my ass, like that's it. So here is a garter. So in the state of North Carolina, we are required to wear one of these. And so I always have them with me. I always have a few extra pairs mm, and some socks in here for my boots. Because I never wear my boots without socks. I don't know how some girls do that. Uh-uh. I can't. I sweat way too much. Next thing is this lacy, lacy bodysuit. It is so freaking cute. Um... Yeah, so this I wear pretty much on weekdays when I'm trying to be a little more casual and not as like glitz and glam. I mean, even though lingerie isn't really casual, but in the world of stripping, it is. Um, I have this one right here. Again, another friend got this for me. Um, this one is super sheer. But with this, I would wear some black pasties and a probably a black thong, if not a gold one. See? And it just reflects with the light, and I just really love that. Um, next is this outfit. Uh, this is pretty much my go-to at this point. So this is the top, and it goes like this. It's a keyhole, um, is it halter top? Yeah. And the matching thong is this one. And, you know, itty bitty. Um, Anyways, this right here is a black bodysuit. Yes, it is tiny, but it stretches like you cannot believe. This is a one size fits all, so obviously it's got to fit everybody. So, I will show you. See? This really gets big and it, honestly, it just hugs to my curves and it is fucking perfect. Um, so in here is a bikini. I put in a Ziploc bag just because um, the club that I work at has hot tub rooms. So, you know, it's always best to bring you some bikini bottoms. Um, this one's my less covered up one, and it comes with the top, but I don't really use the top, just cause, um, we are a topless club, so pretty much when we're selling dances, uh, we don't wear our top in the back room, so I really just have the bottoms on at that point. Um, this one right here is another one. This one's a little more covered up, just in case, you know, just depending on the day. Some days I cover up more than others, you know, but also I really like this color, and honestly, my ass will swallow this up, so it, like, if I'm wearing it, it looks a lot smaller than what it is. Um, I do have a few photos of this on my Instagram, and because I can't post that on here. So anyways, go ahead and check that out on my Instagram. I will put the link down in the description box as well. Um, and this is the matching top that 
again, as cute as it is, I probably won't wear it, you know? Um, yeah. And next, so this is another outfit. Um, this one is just kind of in a Ziploc bag just because I felt like it. Um, I just like to put stuff in Ziploc bags just to keep them in order. Um, so this is the thong, the bottom. And this right here is the top part. So this top goes up here and gets tied around like this. And there you go, guys. See? It's simple and it is cute. And with this material, it is so stretchy. So honestly, this is... This one and the green one are my favorite outfits. They really are. Um, so anyways, um, I don't really know the name brand of any of them because... Um, a lot of these were actually given to me by friends, or, you know, sold to me, um, because, you know, girls got to make their money, too. Um, I do also have Claritin in my bag, just in case, um, because I am, uh, I am slightly allergic to Windex, um, but it's really not because of the Windex, it's because of the ammonia. Uh, yeah, I'm allergic to ammonia, so that, that's one. And so here is a baggie of toiletries, kind of, uh, deodorant. This is what I use, because it is fucking perfect. Um, it's, the smell is minerals and sage, so it, and, you know, it doesn't have either a feminine or masculine smell. Um, and here, you know, because the girl likes to eat, okay? Like, I love to eat, and they do have a, um, taco cart that goes there on weekends, and I am not going to walk around with taco bread, you know? Um, I also have face wash, um, just because I do tend to go to my friend's house after work, uh, not every single time, but... Often enough, you know, that I should probably just keep that in there. Uh, and then the second to last thing I have is this perfume. It is A Thousand Wishes by Bath and Body Works. Honestly, this is my favorite scent. Um, next, I got some Altoids. You know, pretty self-explanatory. And I also have my charger. So I do have a charger specifically for my bag. Well, not for my bag, but specifically specifically for work. So um, I do always have it with me. Whether I share it or not is a different story. Just because I'm not sure if I'm going to get it back sometimes. So I would rather just say no. But you know. Um, and guys, that is it. Um, yeah, that is actually it. Um, I would show you my money bag, but I left it in the car and it's raining. So, yeah, my money can stay in the car. But anyways, guys, um, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know if there was anything that I, you know, anything else that you think I should have. Or if you guys know any good brands of uh, dancewear, uh, I would totally love to, you know, just to kind of see some new things, you know. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe this if you guys liked it. And stay tuned for next week's.